first of all, I just want to let everybody know that we support your channel 100% and believe in what you're doing. Well, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay. When Chris was in North Carolina, how many times did you see him um, when he was out there that summer, 2018? The six weeks he was down here, he came down for the last week. And that's when they went to the beach and stuff. Of course, we went down to the beach at the same time. We said we were five miles apart. And so that was Ronnie Watts telling Kim Kaufman, who once had a channel, um, saying that she was basically a spokesperson for the Watts and that she was talking to Chris um, on a regular basis and that she was going to get Chris a 35C and, you know, we don't know what happened with her because she kind of like left the scene, but she was just another channel that Cindy and Ronnie Watts had clung to because she was basically spinning their narrative. And if you listen to Ronnie Watts in that uh, clip, he was basically praising Kim saying, uh, you know, he really respects what she's doing and, uh, you know, how supportive he is of her. Um, the Kim, Kim Kaufman channel um, was basically, they used that channel, particularly Ronnie Watts. Sydney didn't appear as often, but particularly Ronnie Watts. They used that channel like they're using Dave's channel. And, um, you know, Dave's channel, the Kim Kaufman channel, they're just one of many channels that Cindy and Ronnie have used to get their narrative across. Um, so it was Kim Kaufman, we've had Dave, they had they went through Miss Mensa's channel and then ditched her. And then they had um, Jays for Justice. They ran around with um, Lana for a while. <laughs> and so they've gone through many, 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 many channels, Cindy and Ronnie Watts. And I highly suspect that there are other channels that we don't know about that they've been behind. Um, I'm doing a lot of research into this uh, Sobia Khan stuff. Sobia Khan, I've come to learn, is a fictional character that Dave has made up. Um, and I'm doing some other things to get to the bottom of some things, and I will update you in a few weeks. But I just wanted to uh, leave you all with this, this podcast before the weekend starts, where I have a few things to do. Um, but I, I just wanted to show you, because I did... I did um, save a lot of things that the Kim Kaufman, um, you know, put out on her channel. So I'm just showing you and letting you listen to a lot of things that uh, she uh, produced on her channel so that you can understand where I'm coming from when I mean that Dave is just one of many channels that the Watts have been behind. I think it's, I think it's great. I think it's, something that needed to be done. I believe Kim has been the only person in two years that has gone over all of the discovery, everything. And she has believed in Chris from day one, from day one. Even, even when I, you know, I would, I would have doubts. I was afraid and, and she never wavered ever, not one time. And I urged her to please put something out there. And she always said, no, no, it's not the right time. It's not the right time, but it is the right time. Mm -hmm. I, I can't waste any more time. Get my son a new truck. Mm -hmm. I need for the truth to come out. People don't know the truth. And and I need that. I need that for for all of us. Once again, that's another clip where Cindy was praising Kim, saying that Kim was the only person who had gone through the discovery in two years, um, praising Kim for how much she believed in Chris. You know, the same type of fawning that I see with Dave is very similar to the same type of fawning they were doing with Kim. I mean, they really thought that Kim was going to be some big, big, major um help to them you know that chris was going to walk out and give them a hug and be there at christmas dinner i mean that's what they really thought 
um and like i said they used her channel for a while and you know it went on for months and i remember ad had a lot to say because you know he wanted the what's on his channel and uh you know it was there was a little bit of a back and forth between ad and kim for a long time and there was just so much praise for kim she'd done so much she was helping them so much i used to listen to kim's live streams that she would get super chats for and they would go on and on and on and she would just ramble on and on and on she would say a lot of things and uh i just remember thinking yeah whatever uh, she would say a lot of things and it was just talking. It was all talk, you know, but, you know, the Watts really clung to her as somebody who was going to be better for them than a lawyer. I thought that's, I think that's very interesting. You know, she, you know, she was really um, being heavily, heavily praised and, you know, being told, you know, what a great help she was to them. Hey guys, I am super excited for you all to hear from Ronnie Watts. He is definitely a man of few words, but I've gotten to know him over the last um, few years. And I just wanted to make sure you guys had the opportunity to hear some of these things from him, the things he's gone through, um, situations that have happened behind the scenes with them as a family. And also maybe for you guys able to get an insight too of how Chris is because they are so similar in so many ways. I just thought that this would be a good opportunity for you guys to um, just hear from Ronnie himself. First of all, I just want to let everybody know that we support your channel 100% and believe in what you're doing. Well, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay. When Chris was in North Carolina, how many times did you see him um, when he was out there that summer, 2018? The six weeks he was down here, he came down for the last week. And that's when they went to the beach and stuff. Of course, we went down to the beach at the same time. We said we were five miles apart and then we got to see him because she wouldn't allow it. And we got to see him one day, the day before they left to go back, more or less. It okay. was, uh, they'd, they'd stopped down to see my mother when she's in a rehab center. She was 93 years old. And I had to, she went and bring him by here. I had to go pick him up there. I did. And he spent the afternoon here at the house and me and Cindy and Jamie and Robert and the kids and Jamie, uh, other grandbabies. And we cooked out and just sat around and talked and stuff and hung out on the porch. And that's when he told me, 